The Agricultural Pumping Efficiency Program is administered through a California Public Utilities Commission grant for irrigation pump tests, incentive rebates for pump retrofit and repair, and educational seminars designed to help California farmers make informed decisions regarding pump performance and efficiency. This video demonstrates how a pump test is performed and describes each step in the process. Hi, I'm Dick Harris with H2O Pump Testing Services. I'm here to test your pump as you requested. The Agricultural Pumping Efficiency Program accepts all pump test results from qualified pump testers. Dick Harris has many years experience as a pump tester in California agriculture. He has a consistent method of conducting pump tests. He inspects the pumping plant, including the sounding tube, the motor, and the discharge pipe. The electrical panel is checked to make sure it is unlocked and Dick inspects the field or area where the farmer has agreed to allow the discharge water to run while the pump test is in progress. Dick opens the access to measure both standing and pumping water level. He lowers the sounding device into the well. He slowly drops the tip, careful not to tangle the line. The standing water level is the point at which the water sits prior to turning the pump on. As soon as the tip contacts water, the meter moves. The line is marked at the center point of the discharge head and the standing water level measurement is read and recorded. 145 feet to the standing water level. This measurement will be recorded on the pump test report. Eight to 10 pipe diameters downstream from an obstruction or turn and two to four pipe diameters upstream from an obstruction or turn is where the test should be taken. In this case, Dick must drill an access port to insert the testing equipment. He sets up the drill and carefully lines up where he wants to drill the access and proceeds. Cutting oil is used to help penetrate the pipe. A threaded hole remains to attach the haul tube. A plug is inserted after the test is complete. This same hole may be used for future pump tests. The drill equipment is then removed. Cox Incorporated has designed and manufactured much of the test equipment used for pump tests in California. To determine proper equipment size, the inside diameter of the discharge pipe must be measured. He inserts the properly sized haul tube, carefully threading it. A crescent wrench is used to tighten the nut. The manometer is set up attaching the hoses to the haul tube. The manometer gives the readings to determine flow in gallons per minute. He turns on the pump. It is important to wait until the water level has stabilized, usually at least 20 minutes. Dick bleeds the lines attached to the hall tube of all air bubbles to ensure accurate readings. He equalizes the tubes to calibrate the instrument. He shuts off a valve on the hall tube, and the difference on the manometer gives a measured reading. He reads and records the measurement.
pressure gauge is attached to read discharge pressure. This reading will be used to calculate total lift on the report sheet. In this case, it reads 5.6 PSI. A measurement of the energy being used is necessary to complete the pump test. This is accomplished by timing the rate at which electricity is flowing through the meter. This meter is a common example of agricultural irrigation pumps. The farmer has chosen a specified rate schedule set up by the utility company to decrease on-peak usage and increase off-peak usage. The K of H factor is noted. Dick uses a stopwatch to count the meter pulses which determines in a set amount of time how many kilowatts are passing through the meter as the pump runs. He triple checks the same measurement over 30 seconds. The final measurement needed to complete the data for the pump test is the pumping water level. Dick drops the sounding line further into the well. While the pump is operating, the water level drops from the original standing water level reading to the pumping water level reading. Again, the meter moves when the tip of the device reaches water. The pumping water level is 156.5 feet. This measurement is then recorded on the pump test sheet. He then records and calculates the results of the test. This completes the test of well 11. Uh, you should get the results. I'll get those to you in a day or two. And uh, I appreciate your business today. Thank you. All the important readings are recorded and calculated on the pump test results. Calculations from total lift or head, flow in gallons per minute, and energy in kilowatts lead to the final overall plant efficiency. The OPE can be analyzed so that sound business decisions regarding the pump can be made. The Agricultural Pumping Efficiency Program analysis will give an example of potential energy savings after the pump is repaired and is efficient. Log on to the program's website or call one of the offices listed here to obtain a list of participating pump test companies. You can use any of the companies on this list. Just call them to arrange the time of the test. They will handle all of the paperwork and the rebate for the pump test will be paid directly to them. Mm -hmm.